Brothers and sisters, today, I want to share with you an inspiring story of faith, perseverance, and the incredible power of prayer. From the pages of the Bible, it's the story of Hannah, a woman of remarkable faith and determination. Her story serves as a beacon of hope and motivation for all of us as we navigate the challenges and uncertainties of our lives. Hannah's story is found in the first and second chapters of 1 Samuel. She was one of the two wives of Elkanah Levite, who lived in Ramah. Hannah was loved by her husband, but she had a problem that caused her great sorrow and pain. She was barren. She could not have children. To make matters worse, Hannah's rival, Peninnah, the other wife of Elkanah, had children and mocked and taunted Hannah mercilessly. Hannah felt like a failure as a woman and as a wife. She felt like God had forgotten her and closed her womb. But Hannah did not give up on God. She did not lose hope. She did not become bitter or resentful. She did not blame her husband or her rival. She did not turn to other gods or idols for help. She did not take matters into her own hands and try to manipulate or scheme her way out of her situation. No, Hannah did something else, something that we can all learn from today, something that can change our lives and our destinies. Hannah prayed. Hannah prayed with all her heart and soul. She prayed with tears and anguish. She prayed with faith and sincerity. She prayed with persistence and perseverance. She prayed with humility and submission. Every year, Hannah went with her husband to Shiloh, where the tabernacle of the Lord was located. There, she poured out her soul to the Lord and asked him for a son. One day, as she was praying in the temple, Eli, the priest, saw her and thought she was drunk because she was moving her lips, but no sound came out. He rebuked her and told her to stop drinking wine. However, Hannah explained that she was not drunk but deeply troubled, and that she was praying to the Lord out of her great anguish and grief. Eli realized that Hannah was a godly woman who had a sincere heart. He blessed her and said, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. Hannah believed the word of the priest and went home with renewed hope and joy. She conceived and gave birth to a son, whom she named Samuel, which means, God hears. She fulfilled her vow to God and brought Samuel to the temple when he was weaned. She handed him over to Eli for training as a priest. Hannah praised God for answering her prayer and giving her a son. She sang a beautiful song of thanksgiving that is recorded in 1 Samuel 2, 1-10. In her song, she acknowledged God's sovereignty holiness, power, justice, mercy, grace, and faithfulness. She declared that God is the one who kills and makes alive, who brings down and lifts up, who makes poor and rich, who humbles and exalts. She also prophesied about the coming of God's anointed king, who would be none other than David, the ancestor of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. God blessed Hannah further for honoring her promise to him. She bore three more sons and two daughters. Samuel grew up to become the last of Israel's judges, its first prophet, and counselor to its first two kings, Saul and David. What can we learn from Hannah's story? What can we apply to our own lives today? First, the power of prayer. Hannah's story reminds us of the incredible power of prayer. In her anguish, she poured out her heart to the Lord, earnestly and sincerely. She didn't just pray once and give up. She continued to pray fervently year after year. Her persistence in prayer teaches us that we should never underestimate the transformative power of bringing our burdens and desires before our Heavenly Father. Second, God hears our prayers. 
He knows our needs, our desires, our pains, our struggles. He cares about us. He loves us. He has not forgotten us. He has a plan for us. He has a purpose for us. Yes, we can be sure that God hears our prayers. He is listening. He is watching. He is acting. He is faithful. Psalm 34, verse 15 says, The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. 1 Peter 3, verse 12 says, For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their prayer, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Third, trust God's timing, he works behind the scenes. He does not forget us. He does not neglect us. He does not cheat us. He honors us. He blesses us. He favors us. We may not understand why God allows certain things to happen in our lives. We may not see how He is working behind the scenes. We may not get what we want when we want it. We may have to wait for His timing. We may have to endure trials and tests. We may have to face opposition and challenges. He rewards our prayers with His presence, His peace, His joy, His grace, His mercy, His power, and His glory. He rewards our prayers with His salvation, His forgiveness, His healing, His deliverance, His protection, His provision, and His guidance. He rewards our prayers with His gifts, talents, His opportunities, His resources, His relationships, his ministries, and his purposes. He rewards our prayers with more than we ask, think, imagine, or deserve. Ephesians 3, 2021 says, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to the power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Hebrews 11, verse 6 says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Fourth, know that God is faithful at all times. He does not ignore us. He does not reject us. He does not disappoint us. He does not fail us. He does what is best for us. He does what is right for us. He does what is good for us. Just as God remained faithful to Hannah, He is faithful to each one of us. Even in the darkest moments of our lives, when we can't see a way forward, God is working behind the scenes, orchestrating His perfect plan for our lives. He may not answer our prayers in the way we expect or hope. He may not answer our prayers in the time we want or think. He may not answer our prayers in the form we desire or imagine. But He will answer our prayers in the way that He knows is best for us. He will answer our prayers in the time that He has appointed for us. He will answer our prayers in the form that He has prepared for us. He may say yes. He may say no. He may say wait. He may say something else. But He will always say something that is consistent with His will. His word, His wisdom, His love. Isaiah 55, 8 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. In conclusion, Hannah's story is a powerful reminder that in the midst of our trials and tribulations, we can find hope, strength, and inspiration through our faith in God. Through the power of prayer, surrendering to His plan, and trusting in His faithfulness, we can overcome the greatest challenges in our lives. Say this prayer with me right now. God, 
I come to your mercy seat today. I pour out your heart to you, O Lord. I surrender my desires to your will. I trust in your faithfulness. I humbly ask that you bring about blessings and breakthroughs in my life that I never thought possible. God Almighty, you did it for Hannah. Remember me, O Lord, do not pass me by. I commit my family to your hands, continue to guide us, protect us, and heal us both physically and spiritually. Bless upon our various works, and deliver us from the hands of the evil one. May your face continue to shine on me, my family, and my friends. May your favor find us wherever we are and go. Lord, grant my heart desires. I've been longing for all these years according to your will. Father, take glory and honor for answered prayers. In Jesus' name, Amen.